Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my spooky, super dark, Wednesday-inspired loft. We bought this house back in July and we slowly have been turning it into exactly what we want it to be and we started with my loft. Actually in our old house I had a tiny house in my backyard and it was actually decorated just like this. So as soon as I moved in I knew that this was the first project that I wanted to overtake and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I showed you guys on TikTok and Instagram and you said you wanted a full in-depth tour so it's time to give you that. Let's go! I saw a video on TikTok of this woman who did a goth house, and I've taken a lot of inspiration from her. I'll make sure to put her tag down below. But she introduced me to high gloss black paint. And matching that with the flat paint, um, this green that we chose here, was a color that we actually had to have made. I couldn't find the correct color green that I wanted, so this was a really deep green. We added a bunch of black tint to it, and it finally got that perfect contrast. When I tell you I was going for like Twilight vibes. I'm just gonna be honest, I was going for Twilight vibes. It's, it's a small space, but a large space at the same time. It has this ceiling. I am five foot two. <laughs> I'm five foot two, so the ceiling is enough for me. Um, not much for anyone else, so it's good that this is kind of my zen place, where I manifest, where my good creative ideas come from. I have a cozy bed that my assistant and best friend Taylor and I pull apart, and we have sleepover parties and watch Vampire Diaries in Twilight and Shit's Creek, and we're gonna start Pretty Little Liars tonight. Anyways, um, the built-in shelving I made a huge choice. It was like, keep it or rip it out, and I was like, I need to keep it. Everything in this house was all different colors wood. This is its own color wood. The shelves were its own color wood. The stairs were another different color of wood. The floor was another color of wood, and then we have these accent wood walls down there that were also another color of wood. So I was like, we gotta paint it black. I'm not gonna gatekeep where I got stuff. I'm gonna tell you where I got stuff and uh, you're gonna be surprised that most of it is from HomeSense. Um, I think like home goods is what you have in America. I'm not sure if you have HomeSense there. We have Winners and HomeSense and that's where I found a lot of this stuff. So of course I just start with these, well, I not storks, what are they called? Cranes or flamingos. There's a name. I can't remember. Okay, so going over to the shelves, I'm, I'm gonna let you know where everything goes. First, this is from HomeSense. Now, again, this came from a table that I got from HomeSense, but uh, it broke, so I just decided to separate up the skulls. You're gonna see a really common thing, which is gonna be crystals throughout this entire thing. We got ourselves a, what is wrong with me? An hourglass. An hourglass. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest. We haven't slept a lot. <laughs> we were up cleaning really late, so like, I'm not on 100%, but that's okay. Let's look at my spooky stuff. These candles here are haunted. Um, it's like a huge thing in my house right now. I got them off Amazon. I have about 24 of them. They turn on by remote, and they turn on and off by themselves all the time, and nothing in the review said that. Um, this is a vintage piece that I actually got at a garage sale. Again, we got HomeSense and Taylor. Are these your bangs? Yeah. Oh, just tuck them in there. Just thought I'd put them in there. <laughs> the candles that you're gonna see here, I also got at HomeSense and Winners. This is vintage hand-blown glass. I absolutely love like depression glass and colored glass. Um, we got HomeSense, HomeSense. Um, one thing that I really do collect is books. Now, here are some old Bibles, family Bibles. They have like the names, and that's another common thing you're gonna see throughout here. Now, I just have a few of my favorite things here. I love leather-bound journals. I actually found these in Utah. Um, and they're just like these handmade leather books. I've got them in Utah. I've got them kind of in a lot of places that I travel. Again, this is from Winners. We got some selenite here, some old basil leaves. So one thing that I do that a lot of people like don't really know is I, I do practice a little bit with like Wicca and just, I believe in manifesting, I believe in the secret, and I like to use what the earth has given me to kind of achieve those kind of things. So you're gonna see a lot of ingredients. I got some dried roses. This is an old medical textbook, which is hilarious. Like it has parts of the brain, like tells women to eat cheese to not be bonkers. Um, we have some crystal towers here from my local crystal store. And then we have some little Die by Natural Causes duckies. One thing that I love to collect is a rabbit. I love white rabbits, so you're gonna see that throughout this. Um, a little girl actually made this for me because she loved my content. We just got a little cauldron for burning, some old rosemary. Mm, Taylor, wanna smell this? Yes, please. Pumpkin pie. It doesn't matter the time of year, okay? Pumpkin pie is always it. 
I have Palo Santo here. I burn that a lot. Got some vintage grapes. I think these date from around the 70s. Then I have a bunch of Oracle decks. I tried tarot. That is not something I will ever do. I feel because like I'm empathic and I kind of get the vibe. I feel like I'm better at reading Oracle than tarot. I, I get too ugh, pulled up in it. Now, here's my crystal skulls. I love these a lot. This is my favorite crystal skull. It is quartz, and then I think this is, I forget. Oh, it's still on here, thank God. This is a moss agate. I just went in there and I'm like, this feels good, and it felt like Adam energy. So I kind of have his skull with my skull here, and this one's like tinier, so it fits. Got one of these guys for churning up my herbs. And now this, I love. So I actually bought this for my podcast. But I was like, no, it's going to fit perfectly in here. So this is just an electric fireplace. I've never actually used the heat. I use it more for decor. But at night, Taylor, how good does it look? Mm, it's it's so good. Okay. Over here, this is an antique piece I actually found at the Goodwill. It's got like a bit of a hunting scene. I just thought it looked very cool. Now we have these candles. This is one that turned on so often it burned itself out. It's, when we went to Salem, we were actually gifted a lot of really cool stuff. So these are just like... Grave Spirits Room Spray, some herbs. Now, these are the herbs that I work with. Um, I've just kind of taken what each one is and what it's for. So, Peppermint for Love Spells, Attraction of Prosperity. Hi, Eddie! Do you like it up here? What's your favorite part? Is it peeing on everything? Yo, yep, yep. yep. That was it. <laughs> um, some of these actually smell gross. Here, Taylor, smell this. What's that? <laughs> oh my god! That's Valerian Rue. Um, it repels unwanted presences. Yeah, because it smells. It, yeah, it repels me. <laughs> now this actually my brother gave it to me. He got it as a child, and he knew how much I loved it, and he finally gifted it to me, which which meant a lot. Now the one thing that I love more than anything in the entire world, it's my biggest collection. It's instant ancestors. So when I was young, my dad kind of took everything out of my room and he threw everything out. And then I became fascinated with keeping everybody's pictures. And it kind of blew my mind that when families kind of end out and there's no one left, like their things just go to the wayside. They get thrown out. And I had a friend who worked at a Reese store, which is kind of like a thrift store, reach out to me and say she had an entire family's stuff donated. So over here in these two boxes, this is just the start of it, is this family. So there's one of the members of the family, but I have everything. I have all their Christmas cards, I have their wills, I have their bank statements, I have their whole history. And it's amazing to see all of them grow up and, and look at the houses that they lived in and their addresses. And they ended up being, they came from, um, they were one of the most influential families in Canada. They actually created a lot of the medical industry, but one was, they were lords and ladies and they came from Ireland and seeing the letters between was just, and say, it feels like it should be in a museum. I might, I'm, I might contact someone about that. But um, like him over there, that was, that was a part of theirs too. And that's just like a Christmas card he sent out to people, which was just a picture of him. Now, something that I get so many questions about is this. So this is called a hand pan. So I use this for when I like need to chill. If I'm going through a lot of anxiety for a little while or I want to manifest, I kind of, it's like sound clearing, like sound bowls. Like I feel like it just kind of resets who I am. Now again in front of us, we're going to find a lot more of these. So I do, I collect full albums of what I call my instant ancestors. Look at that. Throughout time, these are people's memories and there's just no one left who remembers them. So. I like to give them a place and kind of feel like I'm I'm their family. But yeah, the hand pan I found at a local um, antique store. These I collect from everywhere that I can. So I like to find them myself. I don't search out on eBay. I, I look on like local sites and local places. Back here we have Adam and I. And I use this for um, manifesting and just kind of being toned. It's one of those like ting, 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 ting for piano players. Got another pillow, some more fake flowers. Tell them how one time you got in my box pictures and you ate some people. And now those people are forgotten to history. And they lived for hundreds of years so they met this house and then you, you ate them. Oh. But they were delicious. Oh, were they? Was it worth it? Oh, okay. Over here, this is actually a fake old radio. It's not old. I bought it because I like to go to the drive-in in my hearse and the radio doesn't work. So I bring one of those. Um, this is Jackson and Max's paws that passed away. 
got an amethyst little ghost. Um, and then <laughs> you might you might not recognize these two, but that's actually Joel and I when we were when we were quite young, which is crazy. Now my favorite album that I own, I want to show you guys really quick, is from one woman. It's her whole life, from beginning to the end. You can see that she fell in love with a soldier, and you can see when he went off to war, but I don't think he ever came back. Because you just see pictures of her throughout life and towards the end, and she was alone. So, that's our soldier. You see him quite a few times throughout, but then he just stops. Here's her as a young girl. A young woman. Isn't that crazy? She's almost in the same yeah. clothes. And then, there's wow. her as an old woman. Wow. I know, it's incredible. And then, you know... It just stops. So I like to think that, you know, maybe she's gone from this world, but she will forever be safe here. But I have probably in the end, I'd, I'd say I'd have a few thousand photos. And once or twice a year, I take them out. Or if I have friends over who are interested, um, I like to take them out. Weirdly, though, I have yet to find anybody who wants to sit and look at pictures of, of dead people with me. Oh, my God, he's eating one. <laughs> Why do you do these things? Why? If you guys do want like an in-depth tour of some of my favorite dead people, let me know. Alright, up here I didn't really know what to do with this. I feel like the last people here kind of had it as a music room. I think this is somewhere you could put like music sheets, but I chose again some of my favorite instant ancestors. Like look at this piece. You can't tell me that that is so unique and so gorgeous and why didn't anyone smile? Like they were having a good time. It, it really stresses me out. Now this guy is in the same picture as over there, but again, he gave this out as a Christmas gift. And I want to read to you what it says. Grow old with me. The best is yet to be the last of life for which the first was made. Christmas greetings, 1928 from Ironside Thompson. Wow. I love that. I'm sorry, I got really encaptured in that. So now this is a really unique area. It's quite a mix of a lot of different mediums. I'm just going to point out the things I got from Michael's first. That Edgar Allan Poe over there. This little herbal thing right here. These tiny pumpkins. Of course, I got this. This little Zodiac spinner. Um, this I found um, at an antique mall. I just thought it was very beautiful. Again, okay, we have like... There's a word for this. I don't know what it is. This was a bookend. But they only had one. I thought he looked cool right there. We got Home Sense. The dollar store. Um, throughout my life, I've just collected a lot of glass bottles. I have my incense in here. We used to have a store called Green Earth, and that's where I got all of those. I also, people are like, you don't want the ghosts around, but you have the Ouija boards. I know, okay? They've been cleared. There's no portal open on any of them currently, but this is a very, very old Ouija board. I want to start making Ouija boards. Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Now, um, I like to collect things that people made, so this was an artist who made wands, so I wanted to support an artist. This is something that I use to kind of help clear my crystals. Ready? Oh. Beautiful. We just have a light, a round mirror. Um, now, these, there's so much controversy, controversy around people having sage and, and white sage, so these bundles were gifted to me by an indigenous woman who came by my house um, when I had put out a display and it, it meant a lot to me. And then <laughs> in a video coming soon, I spent my whole entire life, I was raised believing that I was like 40 to 50% indigenous and it wasn't until I did a DNA test I found out that I was fully white. So it's been hard to kind of let go of what I thought was my heritage and what, you know, I grew up being very proud of, you know, who I was and what I thought I was, and then finding out that I was something different. Milkman situation was, um, was a little hard, but, uh, I'm going to do more DNA tests. It can't be right, because everyone in my family has a different story, so we're going to do a fun video where I'm going to do a bunch of different DNA tests and see what they all say. Um, then down here we just have some crystals again. This one actually got off one of those crystal scoop things on TikTok. And I don't know, man. Now we have this Zodiac spinner. Sometimes I spin it. I do not know why. It's just like... I don't know what that one is. <laughs> do you? I think... It's right after Virgo. Virgo. No. Yeah. Shit. 
It's a heron, I think. Okay. I it's a bird. Know. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's a bird. All right. Now, this bedspread here I found at HomeSense, along with how many throw pillows do I have too in many. my life? Uh, too many. If you were to put a number on how many throw pillows you think I have? I would say 85. Probably. They're everywhere. Um, this little tabletop right here, Home Sense. This amazing bowl. I just keep two palm stones in here, which, you know, quick meditation. Like, these are, like, two really good working stones. You can, like, see how much I I handle these. Oh, yeah. Which is kind of bonkers. Again, another white rabbit, which is just... I really want to find a taxidermy white rabbit. It's just been complicated to find things that were ethical or antique. Everyone's like, yeah, I can... I can get you a rabbit. And I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> now, over here, this came from um, a really nice medium who came to the house and brought me these candles. We got a green tree. We have some obituary notices and some post-mortem photography. So, trigger warning, death. <laughs> so, I really love photos that do feature deceased people. I just find them Who's dead? very... In Guess. Could it be the child laying on the bottom? With I his thought eyes his shut? eyes were open. Nope. Mm. Yeah, I know it's sad. It's sad. It's That's so sad. cool. It's sad. Um, and then up here, we just have, again, some things for the things that I make. Um, an abundance of crystals. Keep coming down here. Um, we have way more crystals, pendulums. Yeah, you're just going to see crystals, crystals. For, for days. Now, these lamps I also found at HomeSense. Yes, the black candles I found at the dollar store. They burn forever. I think they're going to last forever. This is where I keep my AirPods because if I don't put them in a special place, they'll end up in nowhere land where everything always goes. <laughs> Again, winners right here. These are beeswax candles I found on Amazon. I've sourced all of these secondhand from Value Village, Goodwill, all those kind of places. Now, this right here, Taylor and I found at the Goodwill. They had, like, cups for candles. We took all the cups out, and we were able to put all the crystal balls in it. And I think it looks bomb. So you don't need a lot of money. Like, a lot of the things in here are garage sale finds, things I've had for my entire life. It's just piecing things together. This table right here is a piece of live edge wood. I didn't seal it. A lot of people would seal it, but I loved how real and natural it felt, so I got some legs from Amazon, and I screwed them into a piece of wood. And it made this, like, super, super earthy feel. Now, this right here is a little stand I got from Winners. I just have some of the crystals that I'm working with the most. I love these, like, little crystal ghosts. Got my horns. Got some lapis lazuli and um, amethyst in here, which, honestly, my, my three... Four favorite stones ever. Amethyst, I have to, I'm partial, because it's my birthstone. Obsidian, black obsidian, snowflake obsidian's pretty close. Um, smoky quartz, huge, huge love. This is my favorite, I love the sparkly moonstone, this is rainbow moonstone. I love any kind of moonstone. And then, it's not lapis lazuli, I get screwed on this every time. It's lapis lazuli. Lazuli. But I just say it like how I heard it in the Vampire Diaries audiobook. <laughs> This is the TV that we always watch Vampire Diaries on. Again, we have candles. We have this moon that you can touch to turn on. A magic eight ball, which we ask it. Did they, wait, did they subscribe after watching this video and like it? It is decidedly so. Woohoo! So if you didn't, that's kind of rude, guys. Um, again, here's another one of these lamps. I like keeping matches nearby and little tiny candles. Cause I like to look at him a little bit of a, a little bit of a pyro. <laughs> Found this rug. Wasn't sure about it. Now I love it. From Home Sense. Taylor, what is that? What's that? Oh, oh my God. Oh, Hollow. Who's this? <gasps> it's by me. You wrote that? Um, yeah. When did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Over the past like two years with like everybody on TikTok. Wow, it's uh, wow, that, that's a thicky. How many pages? Oh gosh, there's 300 pages. There's over 300. Wow. Wow. So um, this I got off Amazon. You can also get it on Amazon. Um, let me read you the back. Mia feels stuck. The only talent she ever had, the ability to see ghosts, dried up when she was a child. She knows there must be something more for her out there. But what? Then one day a tragic series of events kills her, and she soon discovers that she's been turned into a vampire. Vampire. Ooh. Vampire. She must choose between two vampire families and two unexpected loves. 
As she wrestles with her decision, she uncovers a conspiracy and learns that her destiny is greater than she could have ever imagined. Oh. So I might have said that this room up here is Wednesday inspired, but it's a little Mia inspired actually. Oh, it's got a skylight. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys like this video. We're gonna be transforming my entire house into this vibe. So this whole house is gonna have this whole vibe. So we're gonna be doing lots of other tours. I also have an Instagram page just for my house, Woodhaven Estate, which is the name of the estate here. I can't wait to show you stuff when it gets warm and I wanna watch this whole place come to life with you guys. So check out my book, subscribe, hang around, share this with your friends. I love you, bye.